Hey guys, today I want to talk about, uh, I'm going to put up a coon for you. Um, these are, we're keeping this year, so they're just on wire. I just threw them there real quick, flushed them out. They're not put up pretty, like to go over, you know, go up to Canada to sell at fur harvesters. Um, otherwise, if they were, I would have, uh, like this one here, I would have a window cut out inspection window so you can see the fur on the inside because these get put up uh, f like this leather out fur in you gotta make sure you cut the legs a little shorter and actually those are about right and the lips would be gone which i got the lower lip off let me get this turned around for you see how that bottom lip's cut off Probably could have fleshed a little bit. I'll let the tanner do all that. Finishing them up. But, um, oh, another quick thing to show you is all these little marks here. Those are tick bites. That's what does that. Getting a little thin around the shoulder, you can see. But most of the fur looks pretty good. And, um, I'm about to flesh one out for you and then we'll we'll get it on the wire stretcher but uh i should have sewn that up got a little hole there by the tail but, but yeah this that's coon put up just like that they uh you know if i was gonna ship overseas or something or if you know if it was a good year for coons i would uh put them on put them on wood you know make them look pretty even them up down here at the bottom you'd even them up and uh, cut out the inspection window and just make them look all squared and pretty but i'm tanning them so i'm just putting them on wire so they'll dry we'll let the tannery we're gonna get them garment tanned i guess and uh stay tuned Fire rolling. Uh, first thing we gotta do, you gotta make sure you wash them real good. Flip them back out, first side, and wash them. Get all the mud, all the blood, all the burrs. So they're wet like this when you get them. Get done with them. All the blood's off, the burrs are out. He's combed, there's no stickers. Stickers and mud. Stickers and mud and all that will put holes in your... When you go to flesh, you'll, you'll get holes. You put holes in them. And I'm not real good at fleshing, so I'll probably put holes in them anyways. That's just me. That's what sewing kits are for. this guy here I'll cut the bottom lip off I might have to go run my rooster out of here I like the Weeby Elite it's good I'll use the doll side oh. I'm pretty used to this thing so I use the doll side of it so it don't cut into him too bad Go along. I flipped over to the sharp side just to knock this big stuff off here. Flip back over to the dull side. Roost right outside the door. Now you want to watch. You want to watch doing sows. Make sure you know what you're doing a sow or a boar. 
the sows, you're going to have uh, have the teats here. You got to look out for. You'll feel them. You'll feel a little bump. You just want to be careful. There should be four or so. Sometimes six, I guess, depending on where you're from, bigger coon. said if I was shipping them if I was shipping them I would have uh, let me pull her up here where you can see okay I would have cut from where these legs are in the center the crotch I would have cut up made a half circle around Basically, if it's a male or his hole is there, you'd go right to up there where the where his wiener was, and then you got to figure about on females about that same area or sows, and cut that circle out. But you want to do that after you're done fleshing, so you don't rip it. Because sometimes if you cut them and then get to pulling like that, they will rip. you'll have a way bigger inspection hole than you want. <laughs> Got a happy rooster. There's two more, see that's six. I guess probably most of them have six. sharp side and get that gland around his ear. You can peel it off and save it, put it in your gland jar. See that leather. You don't want to go down to where you see hair follicles. That ain't good. That's too thin. And I've noticed more prime the fur the easier they are to flesh
keep working your way around. Take my knife and have to go around them ears a little bit better. Get all that off. We already split our tail while we was skinning. Didn't have to worry about that. If you haven't, you want to do that before you flush, so you can flush the fat and meat out of the tail. It's pretty thin right here. I don't know what that's from. Well, I didn't do that. Just want to get all this fat off. Watch now we're getting back around the belly so you want to be careful again. thing you want to make sure too when you're putting them on stretcher you never want skin on skin to touch because it'll rot it's all got to be able to dry so you don't want it to touch each other that's why we cut the legs short I'll put on my coyotes and cats, I put, um, like cats, I save most of the leg length. So I'll put some plastic clothes hangers, cut the ends off so the, so the bend, you know, the bend is, well, here, I'll just show you. Cut them like that. And then you just fold them up. I'll drop them down in the leg hole. And they'll hold. You can go either way with them. But what they'll do is they'll force that leg out. And let the air flow get in there. It really works for helping the legs dry. We're just about done on this guy. They don't take much. Well, I got to do up around the head yet.
work. This is the key. Tell you what, with our fur market the way it is right now, if you want to get into trapping, now's the time to do it. Screw up all these furs, because they ain't worth nothing anyway. Yet what we're doing we're making hats I think this will be my first time going to a tannery so I don't know how good I should get them because they're going to probably clean them up more. I would think. They'll have to when they soften them. They'll have to grind it all. Sand on it or whatever. Grabbing up some of this stuff around here, around the ears. Good sharp knife is the, the best to have. <clears throat> I don't think you can go too sharp with fur put up. Just make sure you're familiar with them that sharp. Gristle Gator 2 works pretty good. I actually got one. The Ulu. They do work good. They're really sharp. So you got to be careful with them too. Because they will. They will slice. Get this dude on the wire for you. Alright, here he is, or she. Yeah. Got some dirt on it, I guess, but uh, this is it. 
what I did was just put the legs together. And like I said, normally if I was shipping, all of this would be cut off and you'd be able to see the fur in there. That's it. I don't know what the deal is with that thin spot. But I don't know. A little scratch or something. You know, they're not perfect, but that's all I did because we're keeping it. I didn't put it on a board and square it up. But we'll let her dry. She'll be ready for tannery. Thanks for watching.